Have you came across any situation like I came across today, like getting a plate and missing the lectures and end up being that 75% criteria missed by one lecture or being too lazy uh, to walk to uh, to go to the sports ground or uh, to main gate for getting parcels. So if you have cycles, it is very good. But if you don't have, that is your problem. Borrowing the cycle is really a big problem in BNIT. So now that we have realized that borrowing cycles is a problem and there is no affordable means of transport in BNIT, we observe an important thing that during any time in, at, uh, of the day, outside the hostels, a large number of cycles are just lying there unused idly. Because seriously, you don't need the cycles the entire day. So if we could somehow allow these cycles to be shared among our students, that could solve this problem to a big and great deal. So now, to validate whether the problem is really existing in reality as we feel, we, we did a lot of things. We uh, conducted a survey among reality students to a Google form. We even referred to various models existing in India and across the world of such bike, bicycle sharing models. We talked to cycle repair shops and cycle vending shops. And lastly, to understand the financial aspects of our model, we even went and talked to an IM Nakhpur professor about it. So, for the proposed solution, we are going to use a fleet of pre-owned cycles already owned by our students using an app-based interface for sharing. So, uh, to for any student who wants to avail this service of sharing or giving cycles for sharing, you must uh, log in and register to our app, provide his details like name, gender, year of study and enrollment number. The enrollment number is taken by using the barcode on our uh, identity card to prevent any form of identity. So, for the owners, he ha if he wants to, if, if he wants his cycle to join our fleet, he has to put up his cycle with required details so that we can inspect his cycle and put it our, uh, on our app. Also, he has to provide timings for the day so that his cycle will be available for the uh, day so that we can give a buffer time for the user. He has to register on our app and pay a security deposit of minimum 500 rupees and while unlocking for every time, he has to uh, scan barcode, scan QR code on our app and if he is unable to return his cycle before the mentioned time, he will be fine. So, novel components of our service are that we use pre-owned bicycles instead of new bicycles. Moreover, we base on our administration on our legacy models such that the current final year of students form a team to handle the entire service. Moreover, the use of this barcode, this barcode is revolutionary and has never been tried in VNIT. And lastly, since both the user and the owner know each other's identities, the security is managed on a personal level. For our proposed solution, we will generate revenue based on a subscription and leasing model. So what does this mean? Customers who want to avail our service, that is they want to rent the cycles, will first pay a subscription fee that will act as a security deposit. Once they have joined our platform, they will pay, they will choose one out of several payment packages. This payment package gives you a certain number of riding hours for a fixed duration of time. So this will be the main source of continuous cash flow generation for our model. Now what do we do with the cash that we have generated? There are two main sources of expenditure. One would be to maintain the locking and docking mechanisms that we have established in college. And the second would be to bear expenses of coupons that we will be providing to cycle owners who give their cycle to us. So cycle owners who give their cycle to us, to keep them in our platform, within our platform, we will incentivize them with certain coupons. These coupons can be availed at different grocery stores and food outlets. And the expenses would be backed by both parties based on the ratio that we have determined earlier. Now, as we go on, our business will grow based on the fact that we will start shifting from pre-owned cycles to establishing our own fleet. And how we will do that is either through philanthropic modes or to when final years of our college leave the college and their cycles are left, 
we will buy their cycles at fairly cheap rates and create our fleet so this helps us how by having our own fleet this ensures that we can have cycles available at available at any given point of time and we don't need to depend on pre owned cycles and two the amount of expenses we have to pay for coupons that would be greatly reduced